good evening everyone now the next topic uh, in your lab session that is uh, from uh, next menu that is page layout so as soon as you just click on this page layout option then you can check that number of options are available in case of page layout so uh, for example you have written some um, content within this word document for example i have taken this content and uh, as you can see that uh, how many pages uh, i have taken in this word document that is of three pages that means i have the content written in three pages okay then after that um, the first option in case of page layout is margin so what do you mean by margin here just like that margin means this uh, area which we have in our page for example uh, from the left hand side we have the margin of uh, this much from the right hand side we have the margin like this and uh, in the bottom of the page uh, the, the margin of the page from the bottom side is this okay so this is basically the margin so for example you want to set this margin uh, like if you want the minimum margin uh, within your page then you can select this uh, narrow option like this as you can check that if i have selected this narrow margin then obviously the minimum margin uh, i'll have from the top of the site like uh, in case of the uh, top i am having less than 1 inch um, uh, uh, less than 1 uh, inch size that means 0.5 okay then in case of bottom so that means and if you want to uh, change this uh, margin to wide then uh, as you can check that the we will have maximum margin in, uh, in our page and automatically this three page content will uh, will uh, move around in four pages okay so uh, basically you can set the margin according to your page like which type of page you have taken and which type of page do you have on which you want to print that material or print that content so for example i have selected this normal um, margin now for example i have, first of all whenever we want to write something we want some content within our word document and we want to print uh, it on one paper then first of all we will check that what type of paper do we have means we want to print this content in a4 uh, size sheet or whether we want to print this content uh, on a uh, letter uh, so this totally depends upon uh, like uh, what kind of paper we are having for example um, you want to print this content on letter then you can select this uh, the size of the page just like letter and if you have the a4 sheet then you can select the page setting as a4 okay so uh, and if you select uh, as you can see that when i have selected the page that is a4 then the content is uh, in three pages but uh, as soon as i'll click on uh, a3 then the size of a3 page is very uh, broad that means automatically the content will spread out in two pages because the a3 page size is um, very big okay so first of all you you will select the page size according uh, the availability of the page for example most of commonly we just use a4 size page for printing purpose so we will select that a4 size uh, you can select the page size according to you okay then after that there is one uh, important option that is orientation then orientation is basically of two types um, and the first one is portrait and the second one is landscape so portrait is just the by default orientation of any uh, of the word page is portrait but if you want to change it into landscape means um, then uh, as soon as you just click on this landscape then automatically the setting or the page orientation will be will look like this then then uh, for example i have selected uh, the default page that is uh, default orientation that is portrait then after that we have the next option that is columns then what do you mean by columns 
for example as you see that in case of newspaper we are having a different number of columns in one single page so for example uh, i have this paragraph that is uh, this this is one paragraph and i want to uh, divide this paragraph into uh, like different number of columns like i want to divide this content in three columns then uh, i can do so by selecting this option that is column option and after that i have to click on that uh, i have to say, i have to say that in how many columns i have to divide this paragraph so um, if i click on three then automatically this paragraph will divide it uh, into three columns okay so these are some options which are available in page layout option in page layout menu then after that uh, we are having the next option that is hypertension so what do you mean by hyphenation not hypertension the next uh, option that is hyphenation hyphen means uh, as you know that hyphen means just like this this is one hyphen okay so a uh, hyphenation is used for example i have written uh, something here like uh, i want to write like uh, communication communication okay uh, so for example i have selected uh, this time uh, the default hyphenation is done but if i'll select automatic then what will be done for example uh, from the uh, from this word uh, in communication whenever i'm writing communication here then as you can see that uh, automatically the hyphen will be put it here because the uh, because in the, the first line only this much part can come and then afterwards um, automatically it will be redirected to next line and to connect this word hi uh, automatically the hyphen will be put it here so this is basically the hyphenation so if uh, by default it is uh, selected as none and um, if i'll select it as automatic then obviously the hyphenation will be done automatically wherever it is required okay so uh, for today uh, for today it is enough then uh, from the next uh, lab session i'll tell you some more options into this page layout uh, menu that is of watermark page color page border then how to break the page because in case of page break we are having different number of page break option like how to break uh, the page how to break the sections or um, so uh, number of options are available in case of page layout so i'll tell you this thing uh, from the next session so till then uh, just thank you everyone and you just do practice of this